Breaking news, breaking news. Hillary Clinton, the killer, the body bag lady, the 30,000 emails deleted, deletion of confidential evidence, federal evidence, lying to Congress 10 times, Hillary Clinton. The cheater, the liar, the tax evader comes out in public and says, I'm not running. I'm not running. I'm not running for president. Hillary Clinton ends any speculation. She'll veer for White House in 2020. Uh Uh-oh. Is she lying? Hmm. Let's find out. So this is breaking news. Huffington Post. Huffington Post. I'm not running. Hillary Clinton ends any speculation. She'll veer for White House. I just read that. I'll play the video. It's uh, uh, it's good. It's good. She says it in her own words. Hillary Clinton dashed any lingering speculation she made for another bid. Let's just watch the damn video. Watch the video. Watch the video. Bye. I know you've said you can't envision a scenario where you run again for a third time, but can you tell me now, standing here, 100% that you've ruled it out? The biggest question of the 2020 Democratic primary answered during Hillary Clinton's first television news interview since the midterm. I know she's repulsive. Just, just, just do it. Watch it. Elections. While she certainly hinted at the answer before, for the first time on camera, Clinton officially put all rumors to rest and closed the door on a third White House run. I'm not running, but I'm going to keep uh, working and speaking and standing up for what I believe. Not running, she says, but still fighting. Not, not standing up for the people, not standing up for the American people, standing up for what she believes. Huh, very revealing on behalf of the 65 million plus Americans who voted for her in the last presidential election. I would doubt that number. 65 million people voted for Hillary Clinton. I, I think the rig was in. That's a that's a fictitious number, but that's how, you know, gaslighting works, you know. Two years later, that's the that's the official number. You better swallow it. You better believe it. What do you mean you don't believe it? What do you what are you, a conspiracy theorist? You don't believe that Hillary Clinton got 65 million votes for, by the American people? I want to be sure that people understand. I'm going to keep speaking out. I'm not going anywhere. What's at stake in our country, the kinds of things that are happening right now are deeply troubling to me. We've gotten not just polarized, we've gotten into really opposing camps, unlike anything I've ever seen in my adult life. And who's the, who's the cause of that? Who's the cause of that division, Hillary Clinton? You are. You're the you're the divisive figure. You're the ugly, nasty witch. You're the witch, bitch. Clinton vowing to take an active role in 2020, holding private meetings with many of the candidates in the already crowded Democratic field, and during our rare one-on-one interview, revealing the folk. Bernie Sanders told her, "We're not interested." <laughs> <laughs> she she reached out to Sanders and they and and Sanders camp said ah, well, we don't we're not we're not interested in what Hillary Clinton has to say. Equal point of those closed door discussions. And I've told uh, every one of them don't take uh, anything for granted. Even though we have a long list of. Uh, real problems and broken promises from this administration. Not once did the former first lady turn senator, turn secretary of state, mention Donald Trump by name, but she was ecstatic to talk about the record number of women sworn into Congress in January. How much do you feel that your own history making candidacy contributed to that? I'm thrilled by the uh, exciting, uh, dynamic women who were elected to Congress, and they're already making their mark. I've had a lot of them tell me that, um, you know, my, um, my work, my, my run for president uh, was very uh, influential in their decision to run. And it's been, what, a quarter century since you famously <laughs> declared that women's rights are human rights. Do you think as a society we are where you thought we'd be all these years later? It's a great question, Tara, because we've made a lot of progress. I would never deny that. Uh, But we still have a long way to go on women's rights, on gay rights, on making sure that every person has the same chance to um, have their dignity and their identity uh, respected. Unfinished work, but don't expect to see a candidate Clinton on the campaign trail anytime soon. 
if ever. Is there a scenario where you think you would ever run for elected office again? Maybe governor, New York City mayor? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think so. But I love living in New York. And I, I'm so grateful that I had the chance to be a senator for eight years and to work with people across our state. For now, Clinton says she's enjoying a peaceful life as an author, advocate, and grandmother in the tucked away hamlet of Chappaqua in Westchester County. I wow, is she lying? We'd like to everybody, most people would love to see her in a, in a not, in, not in Chappaqua, New York, petting her grandchildren, but in a jail cell for all the crimes she committed, right? She's a criminal. Right, all the all the felony tax evasion, the the uh, foundation, the Clinton Foundation fraud, abuse, right? The Clinton body bag. How many people did she kill? How many? How many fucking? How many? We lost count, right? Is a speculation. Is she running? Is the point of this video? Is she running? Was that just a lie? Is she just saying that to veer? you know, into position, like, you know, throw everybody a bone and say, yeah, yeah, I'll help you. And then get in there and find out exactly what they're doing and then stick a knife in their back. Is she capable of betrayal? Is she capable, capable of, of, of offering assistance to other candidates and then jamming a knife in their back and, and, and stealing the spotlight? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Who's the only candidate told her to go fuck yourself? is the socialist, Bernie Sanders. I wonder what Bernie Sanders knows. I don't know. It's fascinating stuff, man. Marcus Conte reporting.